maybe I do have a chip on my shoulder, you know. Um, that can be a good or bad thing. It can drive you into doing things. Sorry, I'm like trying to toast bread right now. Like, I feel like I have a chip on my shoulder to prove myself a lot. But I'm not just some girl making YouTube videos. I mean, I love making YouTube videos, but it's not my dream because it can't scale to what I want it to be. I want to make money. I want to make money. I want to make money not for the sake of having money. I want to make money so I can create a foundation and create an organization and maybe be an angel investor. And, you know, I mean, I and I feel like YouTube, as much as maybe YouTube partners make or Michelle Fan makes, I want to make multi-millions, you know, tens of millions, not $30 a day, <laughs> which is what I'm living off of now, so, yeah, <laughs> God, you know what I realized, I realized, like, I like not having money, I really like not having money, because it makes you become so scrappy, it makes you appreciate every little thing you have, um, and it makes you not go shopping for things that have no purpose in your life. Like when I worked and I made really good money, well not really good, but I made good money, you know, for someone my age and, you know, I could afford like to go out and to buy drinks and to, you know, go to H&M and spend $300, you know, on a shopping trip and it wouldn't bother me. Like I could do that. And now I haven't been shopping in like six, nine months and I feel so much better. I feel great that I don't have to go shopping because, because I just, I don't know, I just feel good. I just feel whole. I feel useful. I feel like I'm taking advantage and being resourceful and I'm not wasting life and resources. And, you know, if you're an investor watching this, like, when we get investment, like, I'm not going to be expected to be paid at market for a while um, because it's not important to me. I actually like not having money. <laughs> Is that weird? Is that weird? I just felt like when I had money and I would spend like $100 a night going out, although I don't think I ever spent that, but like the cab and the cover and the drinks and the dress and all that, like I felt so like empty at the end of the night. Like you just wasted a bunch of money that you earned. Like, all you would do is you would work at some job and you would just waste all of the money you made at the job that you didn't even like. So you could just party and throw it all away on the weekend. And then at the end of the weekend, you'd be like, what did I do with my life? Like, is this the rest of my life? That is what I don't want to happen. And the best way to prevent that is to live frugally.